Hi guys. Welcome to Kai's kitchen. Oh, I hope the sound's good. It probably won't be. Shh. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be cooking a Hello Fresh meal today. I didn't get prepared at all whatsoever, so this will be interesting. I love how as soon as I put my phone down, I get a message. Call. Cool. Anyways, so today we will be cooking sweet and smoky pork chops. This is the longest one. The prep is 10 minutes and it takes 40 minutes total. Mm, don't like. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, so I need to preheat the oven to 425. Wash and dry all produce. Trim. Then Thinly sliced scallions in a medium bowl, stir together mayonnaise, vinegar. I am already overwhelmed. <laughs> the other ones were really simple and this one's more difficult, so. I need to, ah! This cat, she didn't move when I stepped on her. All the veggies and everything else is in here and then the pork chops are in their own little separate container. What is this? Is this scallions? I don't know what stuff is. It's not labeled. There's just onions. This has to be scallions. Because there's two. There's, like, I guess there is two. How do you... I don't know how to cook scallions. But then we got carrots. And... We got apples, and we got, oh, it's so cute, cherry jam, and we got more cherry jam, and then we got white wine vinegar, and then paprika. I'm not going to use all that, though. And then... Mayonnaise, an apple, I'm sorry, what is this, sour cream, that's a weird little, that's a weird little thing, I don't like how that's set up, <laughs> okay, and then we just have potatoes. I'm going to get the strainer and wash all my produce. Wait, I'm going to call my mom. I don't know how to... Do you scallions? I used to have nightmares where like my feet would be covered in stuff like this and I would have to cut it off. Hey, how do you cut scallions? Well, no, it says trim, then thinly slice them. What do you do? I don't want to have it ready for you. And anyways, it takes like 50 minutes. You'll be here. <laughs> okay, so we just thinly slice them. That's what we do. That's what it said, but like I didn't know how much to thinly slice. So, she said to cut the roots off. And then just... I called her and she was like, they're like onions. And I was like, I've never... I don't really like onions, so I don't... That doesn't help me. These could probably be slice thinner but I feel like when I cook them they're gonna shrink in a medium bowl stir together mayonnaise four teaspoons of vinegar is that the vinegar you included with me yes and carrots in a bowl toss to coat then set aside why did I cut the scallions
so that's gonna be a minute before I need the scallions. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Why did I do that first then? Alright, in a bowl, stir together mayonnaise, vinegar, and add carrots, and set aside. Okay. It says in a medium bowl, and I'm just gonna hope this is a medium bowl. It's probably way too large and pointless, and we don't need a bowl this large, but like, that's what we're gonna use. Okay, so four teaspoons. This low key does look like wine, though. Like one of those little wine samplers. It's been so long since we used this, there's dust in there. That's cool. We don't cook. One, two, three. Oh dear god. <laughs> it's vinegar, alright. Thank you for that. And then the mayonnaise. Rude. Vinegar, mayonnaise, carrots, and the scallions, y'all. That looks disgusting. All the carrots. Add carrots to the bowl, toss the coat, and set aside. Whoa! And now we set aside. Now we have to cut potatoes. Do not peel them. Okay, now you get a medium pan filled with water. enough water to cover it by an inch. Oh. So this is the smallest pan we have, and um, I feel like it's too big. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to move my scallions. And everything else that's on the stove here, because I need this burner. Cover pot and bring to a boil. clean and dry the knife, because if not, I will get killed, probably with said knife. Don't ruin the expensive knives, Kelly. I didn't. Okay, well, that's doing that now. <sighs> Rub pork with a drizzle of olive oil, season all over with salt. Set aside a teaspoon of paprika spice in a small microwave safe bowl. A quarter teaspoon. Then rub pork all over with remaining spice. Place pork on a baking sheet and roast to desired doneness. 13 to 15 minutes. Okay. Pan. 
I'm trying to relocate stuff so I can actually do things. Where did I? There it is. Oops. dry first or anything? No? Pork tenderloins you pat dry before you dump them in the uh, before you place them in the skillet. Uh, I don't want to touch you. And now I can't use that because it's all meat. Alright, we don't have olive oil. We use canola oil. So we're just gonna just love that on there. There's like a lot of blood or juice or whatever, and I'm gonna drain it. You told me not to. Uh, or didn't it, it didn't say whether or not to. But we're draining it. Cause I am unsure. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> ah! I think that's leaking and I'm gonna have to clean it up later. Salt. We use Himalayan pink salt. It just is regular salt, but like. smallest microwave staple we have so so glad you guys couldn't see me over there losing my mind trying to get the stupid measuring spoon out okay so you take Quarter of a teaspoon out. Paprika is kind of spicy, though, isn't it? So I don't think I'm going to use all of it. Just a little bit. supposed to rub it in, rub it in. I went to flip it over to get the paprika on the bottom and I flipped the two sides that had paprika onto each other instead of like, you know, alternating sides. Cause I'm stupid, yay! Oh, I'm on my period guys, oops, haha. Uh -huh. Watch me get age restricted. <laughs> Baking sheet. Please stay. Parchment paper is important. If you don't know what parchment paper is, it keeps you from having to wash dishes, essentially. That's what it does. 
Yes. Good job. Thank you. I'm so freaking stupid. I washed my hands already. Thanks. Just go ahead. Thick boys. Okay, now we bake these for 13 to 15 minutes. Uh, okay, so let's do it this way. We'll start with 13. How are these doing? Not quite boiling yet. Alright, we're supposed to scoop out a quarter of a cup of potato water. It's at about 50 minutes to boil. It's boiling. Then lower heat to medium. Cook about... you're fine. Okay, so pork chops are in, potatoes are boiling, okay, now we need to quarter and core apple and then thinly slice. Add to bowl with carrots, toss to combine, stir in half the scallion, season with salt. Okay. Where the hell is sour cream go? And with the mashed potatoes. Okay. I've already forgotten my bread, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm stupid though. Don't judge me. Whew, day is hot. Okay, so now I'm just going to core and slice the apple. I don't really know where to sit you. Oh my god, wait, wait though, wait though. Oh, you are so majestic. Oh, oh, look at her. Look at her. Who is she? She is beauty. She is grace. Oh, oh, she's so precious. I love her. <laughs> Open in this dog. There's your dog. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that and then I will check back in with you guys in hopefully eight minutes. That's when the pork chops need temp. Yay! <laughs> Anyways, let's go! Hi. So I figured I'd record this as well. Am I in the frame? I don't know. Hi. Hopefully. 
we? We don't know. We don't know. I just want to eat all of these. By the way. You can hear that. That's the potatoes boiling. Oh no. I don't know what this angle is, I'm kind of hoping for the best. I hope you can like see over there. Is this in the way? Is this in the frame? No, what this is? Hi. I don't know about this angle. Riding salt. I don't know about this angle. But I can't refilm it, so we're just going to hope for the best. Ah, just add salt to this. Oh, that's stupid. It keeps coming off. That's all the salt we get. Right, now you add, you can't see me. Hi. Now you add salt, three tablespoons of jam. I want to taste this. Ooh, that's thick. That's thick jam. Okay, I'll see you. i see ya. Hopefully they don't burn. Anyways, one, three, two, tablespoon. Hello Fresh, it won't fit in there. I have to use a separate thing to scoop. That's a great sound. And that looks like a beautiful freaking. Ooh. Oh, if we would have cooked it in this. Boy. Yes. They have to be done. They have to be. It said 13 minutes. Not done. I added five. Eighteen. So it's been 20, 30 minutes. I feel like they should be done. They're not temping out though. And I don't want to keep cooking them. Because then they'll get tough. Okay, this is the butter thing mixture. Butter thing mixture. It's only tipping out at 120. This is no, it has to be done. It has to be. Calling bull crap, it's done. Anyways, we're calling it good. <laughs> Mashed potatoes, we did all that. Divide pork between plates along with potatoes and slaw. Drizzle sauce over pork and serve. Woo woo! Anyways, so now you're supposed to let pork chops sit for five minutes. They're done. I'm not arguing with it more. They have to be done. They have to be. They must be done. Y'all, you know, 23 minutes? That was 10 minutes longer than recommended. I don't remember on pork chops if you're supposed to cut it like against the grain or with the grain, but I'm cutting it against the grain. And hoping for the best. I think I've washed this like three times just in this alone. Maybe four. I don't know. I've used it a lot these past couple days cooking.
Anyways, cooking with Kai. What'd you think? It's dark. You can't see me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Blowing up my phone. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And God, this is like an hour worth of footage that I have to edit down. Ouch. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.